visible no more. That's the goal of a handful of events over the next month, all aimed at bringing awareness to human trafficking issues here in the Northland. CBS 3's Caitlin Moffitt was there today as local leaders and organizations kicked off Trafficking Awareness Month. Our families are being hurt and it's, it's heartbreaking. Trafficking Awareness Month kicked off Monday morning at the Dr. Robert Paulus Cultural Center in Duluth. It's happening right here in Duluth, Minnesota. It's happening right here in rural Minnesota. Advocates and local lawmakers say human trafficking is a hidden crime whose victims and survivors often go unidentified. They say it also intersects with another major issue in Minnesota. A lot of our women that go missing and end up getting murdered have been sex trafficked. Minnesota ranks ninth in the nation when it comes to its numbers of missing and murdered indigenous women. It's something that hits home for UWS student Jessica Smith. Of course, I'm an indigenous woman, and a lot of the traumas that I've experienced when I was younger and growing up uh, directly relate with a lot of the issues that has to do with this crisis. After her battle as a young girl, she wants to continue advocating at events like these so it can be stopped and others don't go through what she faced as a child. I wanted to do it on this type of platform so that my voice gets louder because our people need to be heard. Stauber wrapped up the event by saying he will continue doing his part to find the funding that is needed. There are many more events happening through Human Trafficking Month. You can find a full list on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Duluth Police need your help.